We are live. My name is David, and this is an overview of EndNote 7. Um, but first, we'll start with EndNote 4. I've been using this at the University of Hong Kong for three years, and um, this is what it looks like. This is the interface. And I just downloaded EndNote 7, and we can see more panels now. Uh, there's a greater degree of complexity and uh, more colors as well. And um, what I want to do first is add two references. I already changed this, and it's easy to change the names of groups. And I have 15 here, in this case, studying qualitative research group, and that's great. I'd like to make it 17. Um, I am learning how to do that as we speak. So, what do I actually do? References, a new reference. Okay, so I have a new reference here, and it's a book. But I wonder if I can search for this reference from the Hong Kong U Library, because that is where I found these two books. Um, how can I search the Hong Kong U Library and find that reference? I don't find these icons, uh, intuitive. I have no idea what these things are. Uh, apparently an engineer created these. Um, I do get different panes. Great. Uh, panels. Um, my goodness, what is all this stuff? Uh, I can attach things. Great. But I want to search Hong Kong U. Okay, that's great. Search library. I want to search the Hong Kong U library. <clears throat> Thompson Reuters. I know who's boss. Great. No. Go back. Here we go. Uh, new reference. All right. Yes, that's what I want to do, but I want to search first. How do I search libraries? Okay, here we are. <laughs> Uh, where do I find the Hong Kong U Library? Uh, Hong Kong U, no. University of Hong Kong. Okay, great. That was simple. Now I want to find learning in the field. Learning in the field. I found three references. Great. Here's one. <clears throat> Is this the second edition? Oh, do I check this? Oh, here we go. And they're coming a little slowly now. Okay, this is the second edition, this is the one I have, and I will drag and drop it here. <coughs> and then, the landscape of qualitative research. Let me look for one more. The landscape of qualitative research. Not another three. Great. Oh, wow. So my search results are stacked on top of each other. Third edition. I wonder if that's the one I have. It is the one I have. Great. Okay, that's it. Now uh, let me try one more thing. Let me create a group set. Uh, research methods and theories. And I wonder what I can put in here. Can I put these here? Grounded theory. Can I select more than one? No, I cannot. Um, create smart group. Create group. Rename group. Rename group set. Create group set. Can I just move this? Hmm. How do I move a 
confused. Okay. Uh, can I just drag things? Can I drag? Th oh, I can drag things. Oh, okay, so I have groups. And now I have to drag group sets. Research method. Can I move this? Oh, I can move this up. That's great. Can I move this all the way up? <coughs> great. So I can put activity theory here. Adaptive structuration theory. Put some case study here. And ecological metaphor here. Grounded theory. I'll put knowledge built in there. Neoliberalism. Popper cycles. Sure, popper cycles up here. Technology. Okay, wow, I created a group. Lovely. And finally, all my references, I unfiled things. And... Hmm. Alright, and can I just get rid of these? No. How do I get rid of these guys? How do I dump in the rubbish bin? I don't know. Hmm. This is not intuitive. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll we'll figure out how to. Maybe I can select all of these. Select all. I cannot select them all. Hmm. Yes, and. Okay, I don't know how to get rid of these things. I don't want to delete them individually, though I can. <coughs> I want to delete them all. I can't select them all. <coughs> okay, well, that was a fail. But, uh, this seems easy enough to use. And this is a note 7.